All right, guys, don't blame me and don't judge me. I was desperate. <laughs> nah, just kidding. We did the right thing the right way. Well, okay, let me give you guys some context. All right, we were uh, trying to fit this uh, PRW griddle on this 302, um, 347 that we are building. And uh, customer bring brought in this PRW griddle that came with no instructions. Uh, so what we did in order to put it in the right way is uh, we called tech support. And they gave us some answers, not the ones that want that I wanted, but at the end uh, we figured a way to fit it to put it the right way. And what is it? Let me show you guys. First of all, we have we had problems uh, figuring out how and where all the washers and the spaces where the kit comes only with the griddle, basically the nuts, the studs. The washers and some spacers okay so as can you as you can see let me let me try to focus this oh shit hold on all right there you go yeah all right as you can see these are thicker than these ones okay so basically these are spacers these are uh washers obviously you guys know these are nuts and these are the studs uh, tech support told us the way we had to put it in Okay, the main bearing cap, then spacers, the one are thicker, then the griddle, then the washer, and then the, the nut, and tied it in. There's no t uh, specific torque or, or other torque uh, tightening sequence or um, pressure for these, but the stock uh, uh, factory tighten. So you can go ahead and do and put your 70 or 75 pounds, foot pounds on these and that's it. Uh, the issue that we had here, first of all, was for the, for the oil pump. The oil pump was hitting uh, somewhere here, this part and here. All right, so we called like two or three times uh, tech support to, uh, <laughs> in order to give us an answer how to put this and they said, go ahead and install it and just uh, make some grinding stuff here and there and that's what we did all right so in order for this uh oil pump to fit here here we had to grind a little bit here right that's that's to fit it right here in, in order to make it free right there and then we had to cut this stud right here as you can see in order for the the oil pump won't hit right here all right so i already did the light test and uh yeah it came out really good let me try to focus right there all right so then after that we we were having some problems with the uh pickup tube <sighs> first of all it was hitting here in the griddle so we had to grind a little bit here in the griddle which is not a problem just go ahead and grab your grinder and couple of places right there and that did the job uh one other thing we had to grind a little bit here in the in the oil pump as you can see let me try to focus here all right there you go this just a little bit not not that much also here because it was hitting right here where we cut the the nut and uh for the last thing we had to do was uh, to cut the the little I mean the little thing that holds the pickup tube right here. Just cut it, grind it a little bit, and then weld it in order to fit it right here. Then put this first, and then the washer right there, and then the nut right here. Let me put everything together to show you guys. All right guys, so basically all installed in, this is what it looks like, all right? Oil pump, it's already in, it's tightened right there. As you can see, the uh, right here is not hitting. Also, I had to grind a little bit the, the little base from the pickup tube in order to uh, 
not hit right there. This is how it's, it looks all together. And in the end, I had to bend a little bit this pickup tube. What I did, it's uh, I put a breaker bar right here and just place some pressure right here in order to uh, bend it a little bit because as uh, for the because it, it it was hitting this little thing on top on the oil 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 pan right here so i had to bend it just a little bit like half inch in order to make it fit right there for all, all this that i did i called tech support at at the end i tell them what i did and how i did it and they said yeah that's the right way to do it so I mean, it's, it's, it's sure it's safe to say that we did it the right way. If you guys trying to figure out how to do it, this is the way we do it. Maybe you guys can find another way to do it. But if you not, if you don't, you guys can go ahead and do it like this. And that's it. Oh, also, I had to grind a little bit the little bolts from the new oil pump. The old oil pump was good, but, you know, customer wanted to put the brand new oil pump. As you can see, the, the, the old factory um oil pump has this really uh, thin bolts in here and the new one are thicker so i had to grind them a little bit in order for it because they were hitting a little bit right here as you can see right here so you you guys if you're gonna use a new uh mailing what is it m68 hv uh oil pump you're gonna have to grind also if you want to use your factory oil 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 pen and yeah that's pretty much it this is for the prw let me see the part number what is it prw something i don't, I don't remember and uh this is for this 347 build that we're doing on this uh 1989 for mustang if you guys want to see anything any other tips for this um stroker wheel building subscribe to our channel because uh, we're gonna keep uh, uploading some videos about this particular engine. All right, thank you.